all this is Anjali and today we are going to do lists in HTML. So list in HTML is used to show certain points on your web page while you are describing some steps for a recipe or you want to give some steps to perform a particular task or just you want to randomly note down certain tips for a particular purpose. So for that we need list to be shown in a web page. We majorly use three types of lists in HTML. One is ordered list, unordered list, and the third one is definition list. As the name says, ordered list means when you have certain steps in a sequence, like step number one, step number two, step number three, we prefer using ordered list there. When we have certain tips for something where the order doesn't matter, we usually go for unordered list. And in case I have some terms to be described, we go for definition list. So first of all, let's see how do we write ordered list. It's also called as numbered list since the points are numbered. The tag used for ordered list is OL. So the tag which we use for ordered list is OL. And the tag which we use for each list elements is LI, list item. And we have a few attributes, basically two attributes to be used with the OL tag, that is type and start. When I write an ordered list, I usually get numbers in the form of 1, 2, 3, 4. But I don't want to get numbers as 1, 2, 3, 4. I want alphabets should come to point or I want Roman letters should be there. For that, we can use type attribute. Similarly, if I want my list should not start from 1, it should start from any other number. Like in the previous page, I discussed first four steps to do something. And in the next page, I want to start from step five. So I can use start attribute to start my list from any number I want to. So these are the two attributes we use with OL tag. And this is how we write the basic OL tag in the HTML code. We write OL, then we write LI, give the point, then another LI, second point, and as many points as you want to give. When we see this in browser, this point will be numbered as 1, the number 2, and number 3. So we'll be checking this code in a while. But before that, let's see how do we write unordered list and definition list. So unordered list is also called as bulleted list since the points comes as bullets. As you can see over here, these are also bullets. Then we have li, list item tag, to specify each element of the list. And there is only one attribute we can use with the ul tag, that is type. Now this type is basically to tell which kind of bullet you want. Here you can see the bullet is square. By default in HTML we get the bullet as disk that is a circle filled. In case you want a circle without the fill only the boundary we have an attribute type which should be valued as circle. So the type attribute has only three values possible that is circle, disk and square. A sample code showing ul is like this. We have ul tag here. The same code which we did with ol. I just changed ol with ul and that will change the appearance of my list. Instead of numbers, I'll be getting bullets. The third type of list we have is definition list. The tags used over here are dl, dt and dd. dl stands for definition list. dt is for data term. Data term means you have to specify a term which you want to define. Like if I want to define, why do we use HTML? So the term would be HTML and in DD, that is data description, I can write like it is used to make web pages and all. So the term and the definition is given. And how do we write it in the HTML code? Same thing I'm going to do. I'm going to explain types of computer network. So I start the DL tag here. The term is LAN and then we have description of LAN. Then I have MAN and description of MAN. Then I have van and description of van over here and at the end we close the DL tag. Now let's see how this all executes in the browser and how does it appear in the browser. So for that let's go to our notepad plus plus or you can do it in notepad or any other text editor. I've written this code already to save the time. So you can see over here this code is for the ordered list. This code is for the unordered list. And this code is for the definition list, which we just discussed in the examples. Now let's execute this. So I go to run and I click on launch in Chrome. So it will just open. 
the page in the browser. You can see this result. It's coming using ordered list and we used align attribute with the heading tag and I write align is equal to center. That's why the heading is coming in the center. Over here the heading is on the left because there was no align attribute used and this is the result of your OL. Local area network is 0.2.3. Then using unordered list, I used UL so you can see now I'm having bullets otherwise the points are same. Then we have definition list. The data term comes on the left like this and the data description comes on the next line indented a bit towards right hand side. Then again the next term, next definition, next term and the next definition. So this is how basically we get the lists in the browser. Now we had some attributes also with the list. So let's check out those attributes. With OL tag we had two attributes type and start. So let's use type first. I write type is equal to capital A. If I write capital A the numbers will come in capital letters. If I write small a, they're going to come in small letters. So you can see the change when I refresh the page. Earlier it was 1, 2, 3. Now it's A, B, C. If you want Roman letters to be there, so I'll write I, I, that is 1 in Roman. And I just refresh the page. You can see it's Roman. If I would have written capital I, Roman letters will come in capital Romans. So that's your choice. This is how we use type attribute. Then we have option for start. It's starting from 1 right now. I want to start it from 5. So I write start is equal to 5 and I refresh this page. You can see it's Roman numbers but they're starting from 5. So it's 5, 6, 7. That's how we get start and type attribute of OL tag. Now we have an attribute with UL also that is type attribute. So I write here type is equal to square. When I write type is equal to square, notice Carefully, this is round right now. When I refresh it, it becomes square. There's a slight change, but now you can see this is square shape of bullets. If you want the third type, which is circle, I just need to write here circle, save it, refresh it, and you can see it's a hollow circle. It's not filled. So that's how we use attributes with the lists. Lists can be nested as well. That means you can have one list inside another list. So when we have one list inside another list, that is called nesting of list. So it's not necessary that I have an ordered list inside ordered or unordered inside unordered. I can have any combination possible. To show you an example, I can just make a change uh, in this one only. So we have a wide area network and I want to write a few points in this. So I start another list. And that should be, let's say, OL. And I write LI. One is intranet. That is a network within the company. And we have internet, which is a global network. Anyone can use that. So I close this. And I close the OL over here. Now you notice one thing. This OL, starting from here. From here till here is inside the UL tag. UL tag is closing after this. So it's inside the starting and ending UL. That means it's part of the unordered list. So this becomes nesting because this OL is within the UL tag. And what happens when we do nesting? Indentation. So this list is part of this point. That's why it is indented towards right hand side and it comes over here under this point. So as many level of indentations will increase as you increase the number of nestings. So this is nesting of list. One list as a sub part of another list element. So nesting of list is also possible like this. So this is how we use list in HTML. Hope you understood the concept. If you understood the concept, don't forget the LSS rule that is like, share and subscribe. Thank you.